Every week, I introduce you to a marketing master who will share their expertise to help you market and sell more books. Today, my special guest is an unconventional book marketing expert. Andrea Walsh, together with her husband, are the Courage Crafters. As professional speakers, trainers, and authors, they also call themselves failure philosophers and rejectionologists. They are experts at helping people change how they think about failure and rejection to reach their goals and dreams. They published their first nonfiction book in 1998 when Amazon was still a jungle. In 2000, they wrote and published a motivational sales book called Go For No, which after many trials and tribulations hit number one Amazon sales and selling list in 2010. To date, the book has sold over 400,000 copies with over a thousand five-star reviews on Amazon.com. In 2018, they launched an online training and coaching course called Million Dollar Book Formula, where they teach people how to write, publish, and market short books. Andrea, what a pleasure it is to welcome you to the show, and thank you for being this week's guest expert and mentor. Thank you so much for having me, Susan. I am honored to be here. Andrea, we have to talk about your whole concept, Go For No. I know that in your training, you talk about major roadblocks standing between most people and sales success. What's that all about? Go for no is a concept that teaches people to intentionally increase their failure rate. And nowhere is this more obvious and does it apply more than books and writing and being an author. In fact, it's funny that when we speak to audiences, sales audiences, we bring this up and talk about all of the great authors, you name it, Stephen King, Dr. Seuss, all of these great people who got rejected, uh, J.K. Rowling, tons of rejections over and over and literally failed their way to success. So go for no is really a mindset that says, increase your failure in order to be more successful. You promote the word no. <laughs> the fact is we want to hear yes, but you, you say you've got to have no's. Let's elaborate on that because I'm fascinated by that whole idea of being a rejectionologist. So, <laughs> Yes, we promote rejection. And the reason we do is because from one standpoint, it's kind of a numbers game success is, isn't it? It's going out and being willing to hear no over and over again. If you really want to be successful in any endeavor, writing, publishing, being an actor or an actress... You've got to make a lot of attempts. You've got to hear no. So our philosophy really is about embracing no. It's we put ourselves in a little bit of a box by calling our book over no because that seems so counterintuitive and it seems so negative. Who wants to hear no? Everybody wants a yes, as you said, rightly so. And so, but what we're saying is that is true. But the subtitle of the book is Yes is the destination, but no is how you get there. So it's all about taking this negative reality, which is, hey, you know what? Rejection is out there. And if you're going to try to be successful in any endeavor in this world, sales or otherwise, you're going to have to face and go through a lot of rejection. So how do we turn it positive? How do we make it empowering? How do we make it something that can inspire you and keep you going as opposed to something where you should get depressed and say, well, I'm giving up after 50 rejections or 100 rejections or two rejections. It's no, you accept rejection as part of the process. And really then, and Susan, this is where it gets even like kind of crazier for people that they have to wrap their minds around is not just be willing, but like want to hear it. If you want to get published in, let's say, a magazine, don't just send in one submission and go for one no. Let's send in 20. Let's send in 50. Let's collect rejections because the more you can do that, the more likely you will get that. 